So we're at the Chester and Beckett Railroad Trail, and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of up close with the old trestle here on the Chester and Beckett Railroad Trail. You can actually, the trail's right here. There's Michelle and Karen. You can actually come right up to it. And you can see, so this is a trestle that spanned over this part of the railroad. And it went over here, which appears to be uh, like maybe a sluice way. I asked Dave Pierce about this and I think that's what he told me it was. So Michelle is going the wrong way on the trail. So after you come in on the Chester and Beckett Railroad Trail and you go to the end where, where the washed out bridge is, you turn around and you come back. When you come over the bridge, the wooden bridge, Michelle! This is the trail. So right to the right, you're going to see the switchback. For the last rest of the trail, this switchback comes up. This is how you go back. Switchback takes you up to the rail grade. Come on, Ronnie. So there's a lower trail that we came in on that Michelle's standing on. You come up this switchback. Take a look at your right there, Karen. Take a look at your right. See the base of the trestle? Oh, yeah, yeah. So when you get to the top, you're back on the railroad. And right here is the base of this trestle that I was just showing you two minutes ago. So the Chester and Beckett Railroad Trail Essentially, it's a two-level trail. You come in at the yellow gate, Kiki. go straight in to where the bridge is washed out, turn around, come back, right after the wooden bridge, right there, get on the switchback. That brings you up. This is the thing that a lot of people do miss on this trail. They don't... Like me? Yeah, time. Michelle misses it all the time, and I always like, you don't know the trail. <laughs> But I did come here last week and I cleaned it up a little bit because it was covered with leaves. So you can see how the railroad originally say it went straight across. And that, that was the remnants of the trestle down there. And you could actually see a couple pieces of it right here. Railroad history is still standing. And then, so you continue, you can take a peek at that. And then you continue down the trail. This part of the trail is really beautiful, even more than the first part. So, the rest of the Chester and Beckett Railroad Trail, like I was saying previously today, this continues on to what is now called the Beckett Quarry. And we've hiked a lot of sections of this, and it's pretty much exactly in this condition. Very typical for a railroad. When I hike the railroad trail here, it's it's pretty much got these baby uh, hemlocks on either side. That's how I know I'm on a railroad trail. So this trail that we're walking on right now, that's on Hamden Street in Chester, I could start the exact same trail at the Beckett Quarry. You go right across the street from the Beckett Quarry parking lot, and there's the Chester and Beckett Railroad, and that continues on. Also, one other thing to mention here is this trail runs through Onkimitz Path. Onkimitz Path is the Hilltown Appalachian Trail. There you go, Michelle. That's the White Dot Trail. UP? Yes, otherwise known as UP. 
So this is uh, this is section five, I believe. I don't have all the sections memorized yet. And this is the section that goes all across Round Top Hill. So I could essentially walk completely across Chester from, hold on Ronnie, Ronnie wait. <laughs> hold on, grab her back. Ronnie, so on, could... I could walk from the Keystone Arches across Gobble Mountain, come off of Gobble Mountain here on Hamden Street, come across the Chester and Beckett Railroad Trail, walk across Round Hill, Round Top Hill, come down and enter in on Round Hill Road at the Chester Blanford State Forest and walk directly to Huntington. So you can essentially walk across the town of Chester from Beckett to Blanford. This is what we're all about here in Chester is outdoor recreation and railroad history. So thank you so much for watching our Facebook lives today. I will try to take another one over on Round Top Hill only because I live right next to it. We're all going home. But <laughs> everybody. It was nice spending the day with you. Everybody's super tired. We've been hiking since 930 today and going Facebook live with you and with Dave Pierce. There's Kim. Kim's tired too. And I am Liz and I'm the one that's been talking, trying my best here to show you guys around Chester and the wonderful trails we have. Um, you guys can catch everything. Uh, we have a ton of videos and uh, photos that we're going to post between today and tomorrow of a lot of adventures that we had today. So you won't miss anything. Some You'll have it. Right. So we're trying to post as we go, as long as we have cell phone signal. Um, but maps, everything you need to know is on our website, westernmasshilltownhikers.com. I hope you guys had fun today, and hopefully when uh, this whole COVID thing is over, we will, re we will start having our group hikes again, the ones monthly ones that are the big ones, and we will do flash hikes again, and we'll be able to take all you guys to all these cool places. And trust me, we've been taking this time to find some really cool places to take everybody hiking. Thanks so much. We miss you guys. Bye-bye.